Today I'm going to show you how to make a sword kill logger using Discord webhooks and the Roblox default sword. The free model will be my plugin, which is linked in the description below. And this is also pretty simple to make, so let's get started. So you want to start by inserting a script in the server script service, and then just name this kill logger. Kill logger. And then you want to get my plugin, or you want to get my webhook service v4 in the description below. And then once you install it, it'll be in toolbox, and click this little four box icon, and then go to my models. And they'll be right here. So insert this into the script like that. So now in the script, we have to define the module, the replica URL, and then the separate URL function. <clears throat> so local discord equals required script dot webhook service. Local URL equals, and then we'll put your webhook URL in there after. Now we have to do the function for separating the token and the ID of the webhook. So uh, function separate webhook in the parentheses URL. If not URL, then return and local URL len equals string dot find URL comma webhooks slash like that. And then URL equals string dot sub URL comma URL len plus nine comma minus one local info equals string dot split url comma slash and then return info one comma info two like that and then now we have to get the id and token variable so local id comma token equals separate webhook parentheses url and then local proxy equals discord dot new id token and the proxy is what we're going to use to post the webhook using the queue function. So now we have to get the player, the player's character when they join the game, or every time the character is added. So game dot players dot player added connect function player player dot character added connect function character local humanoid equals character wait for child humanoid. I'll just put ten for like an extra 10 second wait. Humanoid dot died connect function. If humanoid find first child creator with a lowercase c, then local creator equals humanoid find first child creator local data. And then in this, you want to open a uh, table. And then in this, you want to put square brackets content equals and then now we're going to bold the player's names. So to do that, you want to open uh, quotation marks, put two stars in there, and then two dots, creator dot value dot name dot dot, and the stars again, and then space dot dot, and then uh, quotation marks again, filled spaces between them. So it spaces out the words. And then we'll do the same thing we did here, but we'll do the player who died's name instead. So we just do player dot name and then move these two dots at the end right here. And then now we do proxy Q data like that. You also have to put your webhook URL in the uh, URL variable right here. So yeah, now I'm gonna start a two player server and show you how it works. So I'm in the two player server right here and you can see I'm player one and then I'm gonna be killing player two, which is this player over here. So if I take the sword on kill them, and then in my Discord server, it shows player one killed player two, like that. And then if I'm player two and I kill player one, it shows player two killed player one. If you need help with this, you can join my server in the description below. Also, make sure to subscribe because I'm almost at a thousand subscribers. And when I hit a thousand, we'll be doing a face reveal. And yeah.